गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स आई डॉक्टर देवेश बांदेल इंस्टिट्यूट प्रोफेसर सुरेश ज्ञान विहार यूनिवर्सिटी दैट इज एक्टेड बाय नेक ए ग्रेड टुडे टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट बाइनरी सर्च टेक्निक यू नो बाइनरी सर्च टेक्निक इज द वन ऑफ द टेक्निक ऑफ योर सर्चिंग एंड इफ वी विल टॉक अबाउट द सर्चिंग सर्चिंग वेन यू विल search the item from an given array that is your searching suppose you are having a array and uh, some items are already inserted in your array and uh, you want to particular a uh, item who has already inserted in your array and uh, you want to search that item so that is your searching you know your searching searching is the main important part of your data structure and uh, algorithm but today i will discuss about binary search that is the one of the most important algorithm of your searching now i am sharing my ppt i hope uh, you can search my ppt you know if we will talk about the searching searching having two types first type is your linear search and second type is your binary search about the linear search i had already discussed in my previous lecture and uh, today i will discuss about binary search but uh, when i will differentiate between linear search and binary search then you should know about the linear search so i will uh, give overview of your linear search you know linear search is uh, one of the algorithm of your uh, searching in your linear search also you will search the item from an given array okay and uh, in your linear search suppose if you are having a array and uh, in which suppose your five elements are already inserted in your array and uh, you want to particular uh, search item which are uh, included in your array suppose your included items are 3 5 7 8 and uh, 10 and you want to search the item that is your 8 so first of all in your line uh, linear search your uh, searching item that is your 8 will compare from the first item of the array if your searching item is equal to the first item of your array so that time you are searching successful your search item you have to found and if your searching item is not equal to the first item of your array so that time your again your uh, searching item that is your 8 will match from the second item of your array and you will repeat this process until your uh, item have to be found in your given array maybe your uh, searching item have not found in your given array so that time you will fire a message ki your searching item is not uh, uh, present in your given array okay and uh, now i will discuss about the binary search algorithm you know when i will discuss about the binary search algorithm so during this lecture i will discuss uh, so many topics which uh, uh, cover this lecture first is your object and outcome of your binary search 
what is the searching you know if uh, we will talk about the binary search so you should know about the searching and uh, next i will discuss what is binary search example of your binary search algorithm of your binary search implementation of your binary search and end of this lecture i will discuss about the some questions which are related from this lecture so first i will discuss about the object and outcome of this lecture the main objective of this lecture is to concept the binary search the student will understand about the concept of your binary search and uh, if we will talk about the outcome of this lecture so after i started this lecture student will about uh, uh, able to concept of your binary search how to apply the technique this technique binary search how to write the algorithm of your binary search and how to implement uh, the binary search in any programming language and now i will discuss about the what is binary search you know i had told about that your uh, binary search is the searching technique that is the one most important technique of your uh, searching you know your uh, first technique is your linear search and uh, your binary search is the second technique of your searching you know binary search is a impressive uh, searching language compared than your linear search you know and also your binary search is a fast algorithm with run complexity log n the complexity of your binary search is the log n the search algorithm working on the principal and divide and conquer you know your binary searching algorithm will work on your divide and conquer approach you know divide and conquer approach first of all you will divide the big task into a small task into a sub task and your sub task will divide it Uh, to the person individually and after completed the sub task your sub first of all your sub task uh, will be combined okay so that is your divide and conquer method basically in this uh, method you will divide the big task into a small sub task like your module if we will talk about the software so you know when you will complete the software your software will divided into module okay and your module and your uh, module uh, will uh, divided to the individual persons and after completed the each module your all module will be combined okay so your this algorithm is uh, the work on the principle of your divide and conquer and for this algorithm work properly the data collection should be in the sorted form this is the you can say that there is a foundation of your binary searching if we, you want to apply the binary search for search the item from an uh, given array so your data collection should be in your sorted form and uh, you know there is no any foundation such type in your linear search algorithm but if we will talk about the binary search algorithm so this is the limitation you can say that there is a limitation of your binary search algorithm if uh, you will apply the binary search algorithm so your uh, collected data should be in your sorted form and you know your binary search looks uh, for a particular item item by comparing the middle most item of the collection in your when you will apply the binary search in your binary search your particular item by comparing the middle most of the collection if it if a match occurs then the index of item is returned okay and if the middle item if the middle is greater than the item then the item is searched in the subarray to the left of the middle item otherwise the item is searched for in the subarray uh, to the right of the middle item this process continue on the subarray as well as until the size of subarray reduced to 
जीरो तो यू नो दैट इज द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ योर बाइनरी सर्च एल्गोरिथम यू नो तो इन योर बाइनरी सर्च एल्गोरिथम योर पर्टिकुलर आइटम बाय कंपेयरिंग द मिडिल मोस्ट आइटम ऑफ द कलेक्शन इफ इट मैच अकर्स तो मींस यू आर सर्चिंग ए सक्सेसफुल ओके एंड सपोज योर मिडिल आइटम इज ग्रेटर देन द आइटम देन द आइटम इज सर्च इन द सबरी टू द लेफ्ट ऑफ द मिडिल लेफ्ट ऑफ द मिडिल आइटम अदरवाइज द आइटम इज सर्च इन द सबरी टू द राइट ऑफ द मिडिल आइटम दिस प्रोसेस कंटिन्यू ऑन द सबरी एज वेल अंटिल द साइज ऑफ द सबरी रिड्यूस टू zero so that is the principle of your binary search technique and you know how binary search work means how you will apply the binary search technique for searching the item from an given array okay for a binary search to work it is mandatory for the target array to be sorted as per i had told if you want to apply the binary search uh, technique so first of all your sorted should be in your sorted form all items which are already inserted in your uh, uh, array so your all items should be in your sorted form this is the foundation of your binary search algorithm and we shall learn the process binary search will a pictorial example i will take the example in your pictorial form the following is a uh, our sorted array and let we assume that we need to search the location of value 31 using binary search okay so now i will explain about the how to binary search technique will work so in this example you can see in this uh, slide you can see i had taken a size of array is 10 you know because your array you know your array will start from your 0 0 to 9 so if your array will start from your 0 and ending to the 9 so obviously your array size uh, will be 10 you know at your zero index your first item that is your 10 insert uh, already inserted in your first location your 14 item has already inserted in your second location your 19 item has already inserted in your third location your 26 item in your fourth location 27 in your fifth location 31 in your sixth location 33 seventh location 35 in your eighth location 42 and in your ninth location is your 44 and also here you can see your all items which are inserted in your given array which are in your sorted order you know your 10 is less than from 14 14 is less than from your 19 19 is less than from 26 26 is less than from your 27 means your whole array in your array your items which are already inserted so your all items are in your sorted fashion this this is the this is the uh, compulsory when you will apply the binary search technique and also i had already told about that if you will apply the binary search algorithm so your all items has uh, are inserted in your uh, uh, array and your all items should be in your sorted form so you can see here all items in your sorted form here you can see you have taken the size of your 10 okay so first of all you will find the middle location okay and uh, you know you can see here first we said determine half of the array by using the formula as per i had told as per the process of your binary search technique that uh, in this uh, technique first of all you will find the half of the array by using this formula you know mid equal to low plus high minus low upon 2 so you know your low your low is your zero index and your high high is your ninth index you can uh, see here at your zero index your 10 value has placed and your ninth location your 44 value has placed so as per the binary search process you will find the middle location through this formula 
you can see here you can see here uh, in the according to formula low plus high minus low upon 2 so you you know in this uh, above example your low location is your zero and your high location will be 9 so 0 plus 9 minus 0 upon 2 equal to 0 plus 9 upon 2 equal to 4.5 okay and here you will take only the integer part of your middle value you know your middle value is that your 4.5 and your integer part is that your 4 okay so 4 is the mid of the array okay so you can see here in this uh, given slide okay and uh, after that okay that is your 27 10 14 19 10 already played zero location 14 is placed one location 19 is placed second location 26 is placed your third location and your 27 is placed your fourth location that is your uh, mid location okay you can see here and now as per the technique of your binary search we will compare the value stored at location 4 okay with the value being searched that is your 31 you know your searching value is your 31 so we find that the value at location 4 is 27 you can see here at your fourth location the placed value is your 27 okay and your searching value is your 31 so first of all you will search your 31 from the 27 okay and uh, you know which is not match as the value is greater than 27 and we have a sorted array okay so we also know that the target value must be in the upper portion of the array as per your binary search technique okay and now you know your right side your right part uh, summary that is your 31 33 35 42 and 44 and your left left part your summary 10 14 19 26 and your 27 and again we change our low to mid minus uh, mid plus 1 okay and find the new bit new mid value again okay and you know if your low to mid plus 1 and uh, that time your low equal to mid plus 1 okay and your mid equal to low plus high minus low upon 2 so your new mid is your 7 now okay and we compare the value stored at location 7 with our target value that is your 31 you know your 31 is your searching value and you can see here your uh, mid uh, uh, your mid location is your at your seventh location and in at your seventh location your uh, 35 value has uh, already placed you can see here and uh, in this slide i had already mentioned the arrow that is point to the your seventh location that is your 35 value after that the value stored at location 7 is not match you know your 31 is not match from the 37 you can see here at your seventh location sorry 35 is already placed in the seventh location so you know your 31 is not match from the 35 okay and uh, rather it is more than we are looking for so the value must be in the lower part from the location as per the binary search technique and you know at your six location a, that is your mid location and your 35 will compare from your 33 and you know 31 is not match from the 33 you can see here to so be calculate the mid again that time that uh, time it is your 
फिफ्थ लोकेशन ओके थर्टी वन ओके एंड वी कंपेयर द वैल्यू वैल्यू स्टोर्ड एंड लोकेशन फाइव विद योर टारगेट वैल्यू ओके यू नो योर टारगेट वैल्यू वॉज थर्टी वन एंड योर द वैल्यू स्टोर्ड एंड लोकेशन फाइव दैट इज योर ऑल्सो योर थर्टी वन तो मीन्स हियर वी फाइंड दैट इज अ मैच तो मीन्स हियर यू हैव टू फाइंड द सर्चिंग आइटम दैट इज योर थर्टी वन तो यू नो योर थर्टी वन आइटम इज प्लेस एट योर फिफ्थ लोकेशन यू कैन सी हेयर ओके एंड आफ्टर दैट आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द अप्रोचेज फॉर दिस टेक्निक you know first of all you will make a function here i have taken a function for the searching technique that is your binary search and i had taken the two parameter your array and your size array because your all items uh, had already inserted in your array and size uh, size of your array and loop until beginning is not equal to the end okay that time you know At at per uh, at uh, as per I had told your uh, mid and next equal to big plus end upon two. Okay, your big means your beginning, your starting location, your first location that is your zero, and your end. Suppose you have to take on the size of your array is your ten. Okay, and so that is your start from your zero to nine. Okay. and if your item as per i had told if your item is equal to the mid index if your you will return the mid index means your item have to be successful otherwise if your item is greater than from your middle index or your item will less than from the middle index okay if your item is greater than from the middle index so at that time you will apply the operation that time your beginning equal to mid index plus 1 okay and if your item is less than from your array mid index so that time you will apply the operation your end equal to mid index minus 1 okay so means you will apply the both operation that is your beginning equal to mid index plus 1 and your that operation will apply when your item is greater than from your middle index and if your item is less than from your middle index that time you will apply the operation your end equal to mid index minus 1 and if you will if i will take the recursive approach for this technique that is your binary search so in your binary search i had taken the four parameters array item beginning and end beginning means your first and end is your last and item you want to search which item and your array who you will take the take the array in which your item has already inserted you know as per i had told if your beginning is less than equal to the end so you know that time you will uh, find the middle index and your middle middle index will be beginning plus end upon 2 and if your item is equal to the array mid index so that time return the mid index else if your item is less than your array mid index that time you will return the binary search that is your and in which you will take the param uh, you you had already taken the parameter array item mid index plus 1 and your end okay and in your else part return the binary search array item beginning with index minus 1 and you will return the minus 1 so here i had discussed about the two approaches first is your iterative approach and second is your recursive approach and you can apply the uh, any one approach like your either your iterative approach and uh, either your recursive approach and after that i will discuss about the uh, you know pseudo code of your binary search and uh, uh, you know also you can say that ki i will discuss about the algorithm okay first of all we are given an input array that is supposed to be sorted in your ascending order as per i had told 
if you want to apply the uh, if you want to apply the binary search algorithm so in your binary search technique you will take the array in which your item has already inserted and your all, all item should be in your sorted form means your all item should be in your ascending order okay so this is your first step we are given an input array that is supposed to be sorted in your ascending order and uh, in your second step we take two variables which will act as a pointer that is your beginning and your end so here you will take the variable you will take that two pointer your one pointer will point to your beginning and your second pointer will point to the end that's why here i had mentioned you will take the two variable which will act as a pointer for your beginning and your end beginning is your first and end is your last and in your third step beginning will be assigned with zero when you will start when you will apply the binary search algorithm so in your binary search algorithm at your beginning position you will assign to the zero okay and uh, end will be assigned to the last index of the array suppose your last index of the array is your 9 and your beginning index you know always uh, uh, will be zero so your zero will assign to your beginning and your last index that is your suppose your 9 will assign to the end okay and now we will introduce another variable that is your mid variable okay and you know which will work the middle of the current array that will be computed from low plus high upon 2 mean that is the formula for find the middle location so you, you know as per your mathematics if you, you want to find the middle location your middle location will equal to the low plus high upon 2 and if the element present at the middle index is equal to the element to be searched means suppose your searching item is your 31 and your uh, middle index in which uh, your 31 value has placed so means your searching have to be successful because your 31 is equal to the 31 so your in this step if the element present is the is the middle index is equal to the element to be searched then just return the mid index means if your searching item that is your 31 will match from your middle index in which your 31 value has placed so your searching is successful means your middle uh, uh, in your return you will write your middle index that is your uh, 31 in which your 31 value has placed and if the element to be searched is smaller than the element present at the middle index move end to end mid minus 1 here you will apply the operation your end your end equal to mid minus 1 and your rhs will get discarded okay and if your element to be searched is greater than the element present at the middle index you will apply the operation your beginning is equal to the mid plus 1 means you will assign the mid plus 1 into the beginning location and your lhs will get be discarded so these are the all steps you know also you can say that this is the algorithm because in this algorithm you have to mention the all steps in the, uh, in your sequence manner ki in your first step you will do after in your second step you will do after in your third step you will do after in your fourth step you will do So also you can say that that is the algorithm for your binary search algorithm and you know i will discuss about here advantage of binary search algorithm and your disadvantage of your binary search algorithm okay since set follow the technique to eliminate half of the array element in this technique to eliminate half of the array element so it is more efficient as compared to the linear search for large data 
ओके एंड इन योर सेकेंड बेटर टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी एंड थर्ड टेक लेस कंपाइलेशन टाइम इन दिस बाइनरी सर्च टेक्निक योर कंपाइलेशन टाइम विल मिनिमम ओके दैट्स वाई दिस इज द एडवांटेज ऑफ योर बाइनरी सर्च एल्गोरिथम an improvement over linear search it break the array down in your half rather than sequentially traversing through the array elements you know traversing means you will visit the element okay you will traverse the element so these are the advantage of your binary search algorithm if we will talk about the limitations of your binary search algorithm so your binary search algorithm could only be implemented over a sorted array okay you know i had already discussed about the limitation of your binary search that if you will apply the binary search technique that time in your array your all items should be in your sorted form should be in your ascending order should be in okay so that is the limitations of your binary search algorithm whereas if we will talk about the linear search algorithm so there is limit there is this type of limitation is not uh, mandatory in your linear search algorithm and uh, in your second step a small unsorted array would take considerate uh, time in your sorting and then searching is the desired element so binary search is not preferred in such cases okay a small unsorted array okay if you are taking the unsorted array so your binary search algorithm is not suitable uh, for this type of array in which your uh, item will be in your unsorted fashion will be not in your ascending order okay and uh, in if we will talk about the third is advantage of your this algorithm it has poor locality of reference compared to linear search algorithm when comes to in memory searching for short intervals so these are the all three limitations limitations for limitation is that if you want if you will apply the binary search algorithm to so in your binary search algorithm you will take such type of array in which your all items should be in your sorted fashion and in your uh, uh, second limitation if you will take the unsorted array if you will take the array in which your uh, items uh, not be not uh, uh, in a sorted form so that time your binary search is not uh, suitable and it has poor locality to reference compared to linear search algorithm when comes to be in your memory searching for short intervals and after completion this lecture i had uh, already told from you he i will uh, insert some questions which are uh, uh, related from this lecture you know which are related from this binary search algorithm okay first is that what is the advantage of recursive approach than an iterative approach you know i had uh, already told about that two approach first approach is your recursive approach and second at, uh, approach is your iterative approach so here in this question your question object is that what is the advantage of recursive approach than an iterative uh, iterative approach okay so here i had uh, given the four choice for answer this question first of all consume less memory second is less code and easy to implement and third option is that consume more memory and your fourth option is that more code has to be written okay so you know if you will apply the recursive approach then in your iterative approach so the advantage of your recursive approach is that you will write the less code and easy to implement 
that's why you will use the recursive approach and if you will use the iterative approach so no you will write the less code and uh, no is it to implement okay so the answer of this question less code and is it to implement of recursive approach than an iterative approach and again question which are uh, related from this lecture given a are input size 25799 and 899 okay you know your key equal to 899 so what is the level of your recursion okay you know recursion you know about the recursion about the recursive function recursion you know when you will call the itself if you will call the itself that is your recursion so in this question i had taken a array in which your item already inserted 25799 and your 899 and your key equal to 899 so what is the level of your recursion so you know your that time your level of recursion is that your 3 means that is your answer c here your options are first option is your 5 you know your 5 is not level of the recursion and your second option is your 2 you know 2 is not the level of your recursion third option is that your 3 3 is not the level of your recursion and your 4 4 is not level of the recursion so you know your uh, level of the recursion is your 3 so your answer will be your 3 and again in this question given a array means uh, i had taken array and uh, in your array i had taken the items which are inserted in your array 45 77 89 90 94 99 100 and, and the key you know is that your 99 so what are the mid value corresponding array elements in the first and second level of your recursion you know this question is uh, uh, near about uh, same from your last question okay and uh, in this question your uh, array and your items had already taken 45 77 89 90 94 99 and your 100 and your key is your 99 so what are the mid value corresponding array elements so in the first and second level of your recursion you know 90 and 99 90 and 94 89 and 99 and 89 and your 94 so you know the recursion level is your 90 and 99 and another question i will discuss about this question what is the worst case complexity of binary search using recursion first is your n log n log n n and your n square So you know, I had already discussed about the worst case complexity of your binary search algorithm is your log n. Means that is your answer will be your B. And what is the average case time complexity of binary search using recursion? You know, n log n, log n, n, and your n square. So you know, I had already. sorry discussed about the average case time complexity of binary search using recursion that is your log n that is your b here i had inserted the only some few questions which are related from the binary search algorithm okay and uh, next question is that okay which of the following is not an application of your binary search okay first is that to find the lower upper bound in the ordered sequence okay and the second is that union of intervals and third is that dubbing and fourth that to search in an ordered list okay so here you can see here 
I am talking about the which is not an application of your bind research. So here you will find the that is not an application of your bind research. So you know you are to find the lower upper bound in your ordered sequence. Okay, th th this is the limitations of your bind research because here you will found the ordered sequence. Here you will found found the sorted sequence. Okay, and union of intervals. So in your union or interval, that is the applications of your uh, bind research and your dubbing and your two search and uh, or in unordered list. So that is the D answer to search in unordered list because that this is the this is not the application of your bind research because you know in your bind research I had already told ki you will take the search array in which all inserted items should be in your sorted form, should be in your ascending form, not unsorted item. You will not uh, take the unsorted uh, array in which your item will be not in your sorting fashion. And you know, another question which are uh, related from this lecture. Winery search can be categorized into which of the following? Brute force technique, divide and conquer method, Grady algorithm, and your dynamic programming. Okay, so binary search can be categorized into which of the following? You know, your answer will be B. Okay, that is your divide and conquer method. In the starting of this lecture, I had already discussed about the divide and your conquer method. Okay, in which uh, uh, your uh, big task is divided into the sub task, and you know, and uh, your sub task will be divided to the an, another sub task, and you will repeat this process uh, uh, until your uh, all items should be in your atomic form means your uh, all divided uh, sub array will have only one atomic value okay and after that again you will compose in that order okay that is your divide and conquer okay so you know in binary search can be categorized which in the following that is your divide and conquer And uh, another question is that given an array 5, 6, 77, 88, and 99. Okay. And uh, how many iterations are done until the element is found? You know, your uh, options are one, three, four, and two. Okay. So you will find how many iterations until the element is found. And you know, your key will be 88. You know, so your answer will be two. Okay. That is your D answer. And Given an array 45, 77, 89, 90, 94, 99, and 100, and your key value is 100, so what are the mid values generated in the first and second iteration? Okay, so your 90 and 99, 90 and 100, 89 and 94, and 94 and 99. You know, so your answer will be a, a that is your 90 and 99 and uh, in your uh, i will discuss in last question what is the time complexity of binary search with iteration that is your n log n log n n and your n square i had already discussed your time complexity of binary search with iteration that is your log n so i hope you have understood about this lecture you have understood about the binary search what is the binary search binary search algorithm 
and uh, you should uh, i think you should know uh, about uh, example of your binary search ki how your binary search will work okay and how to implement the binary search in any programming language thank you